We're now 30 minutes into the boil. We're adding 0.5 ounces of our Herzbrucker hops. And there they go. Go ahead and give her a stir. Yeah, try to avoid the shadowing out here on the deck. It's hot and it's humid and I'm boiling stuff just to add to it. <laughs> so there those go. Get the whirlpool going again. I like to periodically do this throughout the boil. Just like I said, I mean it it just helps the hops make as much contact with the wort as possible to get the hop oils out of them. So that's that. And put our bug shield back on. Like that. There we go. Alrighty. On our way back out, we're going to add our whirl flock tablets. Or tablet, I should say, because it's only one. It's dark out here. It's after uh, midnight here in northern Michigan. And the beer is boiling away. So we're going to do two things right now. We're going to add the little flock. And all this is is uh, pretty much an, an enhanced Irish moss. And what it's going to do is uh, help all the bad stuff that you don't really want fall out when it's sitting in the fermenter after we're done boiling. So, boop, in goes that. And I like to kind of push it around a little bit because it wants to float around and fizz. Kind of reminds me of Alka Seltzer. Just chasing it around. Get it down in there for a minute. And I'm gonna get a little whirlpool going. See it's a big foaming ball spinning around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our two pounds of uh, pills and light dry malt extract in. And you know what? I forgot the scissors, so I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Got some scissors now. So we're going to go ahead and cut this open. This stuff is uh, super sticky. It's powder. We're going to try not to get it all over ourselves. And trusty spatula, paddle, or whatever you want to call it. Just go ahead and dump this in. And this one you don't have to worry about shutting the boil off on because uh, it floats more when you first put it in where that uh, the liquid tends to sink to the bottom and burn. Just gonna get that whirlpool effect going on here, and I'm gonna slowly dump it in. And the moisture from the evaporating wort will make it stick. See, look at that. It's like it's like sugar. That's pretty much what it is. Tastes good. As far as people are making candy out of these or something. I'd eat it. Hey, I'd even probably pay for it. <laughs> Alright, so add our next one. One more pound. Alright. Sorry. 
Got it all over my fingers. Tastes like, I don't know, kind of like powdered sugar, but it's uh, better. <laughs> so anyway, that's what it looks like. And uh, move on to the next step. Hopefully this don't boil over with all that foam on top, creating an insulator like a blanket. All right, cool. Just wanted to add, I uh, <laughs> narrowly diverted disaster. And right when I shut this thing off, it was like, I shut the camera off, and then I shut the gas off. I had my hand on the gas when I shut the camera off, so good thing I did because this thing came up and actually foamed up about probably an inch above the actual uh, pot or kettle. So <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty close, and it just sank right back down inside of it. So twice tonight, I just barely missed it. The first time you got it, I got it on video. But, uh, gotta get my timer going for the next edition here, which will be my yeast nutrient. Alright, while I was outside shooting a little clip of my video, this bastard fruit fly decided that he wanted my beer more than I did. And this thing was about halfway full. I drank it down before I saw him. Good thing I didn't drink him. Not that it really would have killed me. The protein never hurt anybody, I guess. But, I would rather have him have my, uh, half a beer than a fermenter of beer so shitty I'm gonna dump it but I uh, wish I could be like him and just fall into a huge vat of beer that would be sweet okay it's yeast nut time yeast nutrient diluted in warm water and going in the batch and that's that Give it a little stir, just for the hell of it. It's so hot out here. Look at that. It's, that's sap from my from this deck. My dad built this deck like a million years ago. <laughs> Sorry, dad. And uh, that's sap from it coming out of the boards, I guess, from the heat of the brewer, the great brewer that I am. Oopie dokie. See in about five. All right, she's boiling away. You can tell it's dropped a lot. And you can see the line. It's dropped about two inches. That's how much boil off I've had. For the last of these Herzbrucker. Going in like so. In like Schwinn. We're at five minutes too. Give these a stir. The whirlpool going. Yeah, it's foggy. So my five minutes too. So these are mainly about to smell. So they keep doing sticking my paddle over there. And in five minutes we're gonna add all that. And that's that shut down. So we're gonna shut it off. We're going to throw all that in there, and then we're going to take it inside and cool it as fast as we can.